Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back with, I hope this microphone holds because I don't think it's very charged, and I can't charge it because we're on day five of no power. So um, I have a an affordable perfume haul to share with you, though. Um, I picked all of these up from that brand or that website called Makeup. Um, again, this is going to be a not edited video, and I hope it looks okay because something I don't know if it's like the lighting or something but something up here looks like it's making it fuzzy yeah I think it's the lighting so I apologize for that I'll try to like I don't know work it out to where it doesn't do that anyways um I've been super interested in this brand right here this is called Tesori d'Orient um, and these are really, really affordable on the makeup website. They range from about, I don't know, $7, I would say, up to, there's one that I wanted. It's called something Byzantine. And it got really, really popular. It was like the rest of them, like $8, $9. And then it got super popular and they raised the price to almost $20. So I was like, you can have that. I'll just get all the rest of them. I'm not going to pay three times the price for something because it got popular and now you're going to start gouging people like I'm not down with that. So I just won't buy it. Um, so I did get six of the regular priced ones, the ones that haven't been, I guess, hyped up. Um, I got another perfume. I got a bar of soap because I'm a weirdo and I love bar soap and I got a fragrance oil. So Anyways, I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to start with these Tesori d'Orient fragrances. Um, this is the first one that I picked up because this is the one that I was the most interested in. This one is called Vanilla e Zenzero del Madagascar. It says vanilla and ginger from Madagascar. Um, I will say I have been kind of testing these. I wore a couple of them yesterday layered and they i would say they perform like body sprays um so are they worth the like seven or eight dollars yes would i pay any more than that for them no because they perform like body sprays this one i was i had high hopes for this but this is actually very masculine smelling um and yeah super masculine smelling it does have i don't i don't really even get vanilla to be honest it's pretty masculine um this would smell amazing on a man. I don't like it on me. I may will try to um, layer this with maybe another like sweeter vanilla or something. I'll try to do something with it. Um, it's one of those things that it's like it's so fleeting that I don't think that um, it's going to take like a long time to get through. I should be able to you fly through this bottle because it's basically like a body spray. Um, I don't love this one. I wouldn't recommend it. It's if you're looking for something that smells like vanilla, this is not it. This is very deceiving. Um, I would I don't even really get ginger. It's kind of like this generic smelling like an axe body spray kind of situation. I don't love it. So this one is a no-go. That is the vanilla a Zenzero del Madagascar Mount sorry, Del Madagascar or vanilla and ginger from Madagascar. I was really excited about that one. That one was an absolute disappointment. Okay, the next one I picked up is this one here called Thai Spa. I was really excited about this one. This one says hibiscus and tamanu oil, which I've heard tamanu oil is like amazing for, no, no, not tamanu oil. It's an oil that starts with a B, I think that's really good for your hair. This one is really nice. This has like a, this is a floral, but it's got, it's got like a really fresh, um, like a really fresh, almost kind of green aspect to it. These do spray. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the phone, but these do spray really nicely. They have a really nice spray on them. Yeah, this is very, very, it's a very sweet floral. Like a super, super sweet floral. It's really interesting. Um, this one I actually really, really like. I almost didn't pick, no, I think it was the other one I almost didn't pick up, but yeah, I almost wasn't going to pick this one up either because I was afraid that I wasn't going to like it. Um, but I love this one. This one is almost, 
I don't want to say it smells vintage leaning or that it smells vintage. Um, it doesn't smell vintage in the way that like a, I don't know. It does have like kind of a vintagey quality to it though. I love it. It's like a really sweet floral. I really like this one. So that one is called Thai Spa. I enjoy that one. Um, next, I picked up this one here called, this one is just Pro, Profumo Aromatico, Aromatic Perfume Mira or Myrrh. So I wish, I don't know if you guys can see these very well. Um, I feel like the lighting is really weird in here today because it's, I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, this one is, this one, I guess it's myrrh. It doesn't really smell like a typical myrrh. Um, it smells kind of warm. I mean, it smells warm and a little bit resinous, but it doesn't, you know how myrrh has a very distinct, a, a very distinct smell to it. This doesn't have that distinct myrrh smell but more like a kind of generic, warm, kind of slightly resinous smell. It's fine. Um, it's not one that I would recommend. If I wish it smelled more like a true resinous myrrh, but it doesn't. I actually ended up um, layering these two together. And these two layered together were actually really nice. So this was the myrrh one. And then this is the other one that I almost didn't pick this one up. This one is called Forest Ritual. And this one is water lily and hanoki wood. And I almost didn't pick this up because I don't always love woody scents. But, ooh, this one, I really like this one. This one is, like, very green smelling. Oh, gosh. Yeah, super green. Um, like, just really green smelling. It's kind of slightly sweet. Very, very fresh. And green. It definitely has that like fresh water lily, but there's no, it's not super distinct. And again, there's something, it must be the hinoki wood that is, it's both green and slightly woody at the same time. I've only smelled hinoki wood in one other fragrance that I can think of, and it was a, um, Amar Oud fragrance. Maybe it was called Silver Birch or something. I'm sorry, I just hit that microphone. I know that's actually quite loud. Um, I, I feel like it was called Silver Birch or something, and it had a really prominent Hinoki wood note in it, and it smells, that's, I don't know, I, it smells kind of the same as the Hinoki wood that's in this, which is how I'm able to recognize it because I recognize it from that scent. But this is really, really nice. If you're looking for something um, like kind of foresty, but without smelling too, too woody. Um, gosh, this almost smells very slightly like tree sap. It's really, really beautiful. Out of all of them, this one was the most unique and just, oh, this one is beautiful. So. Yeah, I layered this one and the myrrh together, and oh, it was such a good combination. So this is a combination. I will store these next to each other, and this is a combination that I will probably um, wear a lot because I really enjoyed it. So anyways, that one is called Forest Ritual, and that's just the myrrh one. And then I picked up this one called Hammam, which is argan oil and orange blossom. This one is so beautiful. I didn't know what to expect from this. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys can see. I hope. No, I don't think that they do. I hope that the notifications that are coming up on my phone don't aren't on video. I don't know. Anyways, um, this is really beautiful. I don't know that I smell argan oil necessarily but I definitely do get like a really fresh kind of orange blossom. It's not like, that's the thing with these. None of them smell super distinct. 
like, does it kind of smell like orange blossom? Yeah, a little bit, but not, it's not like a true distinct orange blossom. Can't tell what this lighting is doing. It looks weird to me, but yeah, this one's really, really nice. I like this one. I sprayed this one all over my arm and I was like, oh yes, it smells really good. The bottles are really pretty. Um, this is actually like raised. It's textured. And I just think that the, it's really pretty for like six or seven or eight dollars or even nine dollars. I think they're really, really pretty. I think they're really nice. I would pick up more. There's a white musk one that I want. Um, and if they ever drop the price on that Byzantine one, eventually I'll pick that one up. I think I read that that one smells like um, hypnotic poison, though. And I was like, mm, I don't know. No, thank you. OK, and then the last one from this brand that I picked up is this one here called a uh, Fiore del Dragon or Dragonflower. Now this one, this one does smell like hypnotic poison. Yeah, this smells, this definitely smells like hy hypnotic poison. I don't know. Oh wait, these all have, um, okay. These all have, uh, mm. These all have um, descriptions on the back. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to edit that out. Okay, this one says, also known as the queen of the night, the dragonflower is a plant of rare beauty that only blossoms at night. Its large white flowers lit up by moonlight emit an intense and bewitching scent with warm and velvety oriental notes. So, um, this is, it's to me, it smells like hypnotic poison a little bit. I really enjoy it. It's nice. Um, so this one I would recommend if you like that kind of hypnotic poison scent profile. I love the bottle of this one. Mine came all dented up, but I don't really care. This one is just plain. It doesn't have anything raised or like textured on it like a lot of the other ones. Um, but yeah, those are all from a brand called Tesori d'Orient. Where are these made? These are made in Italy. So yeah, I'm happy. I've been really, really curious about them for a very long time. So I am super happy that I finally got my nose on them. Okay. And then I picked up a bar of soap because I'm a weirdo and I love bar soap. This one is Relaxing Jasmine and Vanilla. I've never heard of this brand. I think it's a Polish brand. Um, made in EU. Yeah. And it's just jasmine and vanilla it says carrying bar soap so i picked that out because it was like 98 cents or something um i picked up this it it's a it says i guess it says vanilla um in polish i believe um yeah i can't not, there's no english on it at all so i don't know where it's made or what but and I didn't really know what I was getting into with this because I think, yeah, I think it's a perfume oil. So this is something that I can dilute. Did I just say that? Dilute, dilute, however you say dilute. And it smells like vanilla ice cream. Yeah, this is like really, really strong. So I can dilute this and make it into a material and then use it to make perfume. So I love it. It smells like vanilla ice cream. It's really, really yummy. It's very, very concentrated though. So yeah, I'm going to have to dilute this in, in some alcohol. Um, so anyways, I picked up that. And then last but not least, I picked up this. So they have a whole line of these. There was a whole bunch of them, but this is the one that I was most interested in. These are all less than like $10. Um, this one, this is from Ulrich de Varens, and this is called Vanilla Darling. Um, again, they've got, they've got a bunch of them. This one I was really, really surprised by. Um, this one smells like something that I haven't really been able to put my finger on yet. Um, but it smells expensive. Yeah, in fact, I think what it smells like is the Essential Parfums, um, the Essential Parfums Vanilla. 
fragrance that I used to have and I decluttered it because I just never reached for it. This smells identical to it. So I'm glad I picked this up. Um, I sprayed this on my hand when I very first got it. And yeah, when it dried down, I was like, wait a second, that smells, that smells like something expensive that I used to have, something like niche. And that's exactly what it smells like, the Essential Parfums Vanilla Perfume. Um, and this was like less than $10, and it smells identical to it. It's so good. And it lasted on my hand. I haven't given this a full wear test yet, but it lasted on my hands for at least a couple of hours. It's so good. This one is really, really good. It's way more interesting than you would think. Um, one of my lights just turned off. So that's what it's called, or that's what it looks like, I should say. It doesn't smell like ice cream at all. Mm -mm. It's got like a really, smells very niche. I really like it. So I'm excited that I got that one. I'm going to, um, I'm going to get back on and get the rest of these that I wanted and then look at this line again and see if there's anything else from this line that I wanted. But yeah. So anyways, guys, that is a little haul that I just, um, did or like a little order I just picked up from makeup. Um, I do have another fragrance nut haul coming for you. Um, I've got other, I've got a smelly mail video. I'm going to see if I can go ahead and get that filmed if my phone holds out. So anyways, you guys, I do hope that you've all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.